hello friends welcome back to another video so in today's video I'm going to show you how to do hard gel extensions so this is my first time trying hard gel and I'm so excited to share this video with you all so before we start if you're new here please consider subscribing to my channel I post nail related videos nail product reviews anything and everything related to nails and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for sticking by so let's begin with the new video so this is how my natural nails looks like right now so we are going to prep it and make it ready for the extensions for the dry manicure part i'll be using a flame bit and an e-file so i'm using blue abrasive mark flame bit to do the cuticle work and i'm on a 15,000 rpm speed on my e-file and now what i'm doing is i'm pushing back my cuticle as well as i'm gently cleaning up the dead skins around my cuticle area once you're done with this part then you can gently clip off the uh, dead skins around the and then you can also buff off the shine from your natural nails trimming the epnikium is an optional step if you're really comfortable doing this or you want a really clean uh, cuticle area then only you do this otherwise you can just clean the cuticle area and all and then you can start with your extension process now it's time for us to remove the surface shine of the natural nails and I'm using a soft buffer to remove the surface shine. You can also use a 180 grit file for this but ensure that you are not over filing your natural nails. And this is one of the important steps of any kind of extension so just ensure that you are doing it correctly. After the buffing this is how my nails looks like and our next step is to cleaning the entire nail surface so for that I'm using a lint free wipe and alcohol and this way our nail surface will be clean and alcohol will ensure that there is no oil residue or anything so this makes our nail surface ready for the extension. Now it's time for us to apply the dehydrator. I'm using Mia Secret Dehydrator here and applying it on all my nails. And if you have like a really oily skin or something, then I recommend you to go for like two layers of dehydrator. And uh, the dehydrator will ensure that there is no oil residue or whatsoever. Uh, this will also help in better adhesion. So this is again uh, is a mandatory step for any kind of extensions. After the dehydrator, we have to apply a primer. I am using an acid free primer from Mia Secret. Apply this on to all 5 of your nails and then you can let it dry. So for the sculpting, I'll be using paper forms. In case if you wanted to learn how to apply paper forms, I have a separate sculpting video where I have explained the process in detail. So please check it out. I'll leave the link somewhere on the screen and also in the description box. Apart from the forms, we also need a brush for the product application and we also need hard gel. So today I am using this hard gel from the brand called Ace. This is a clear gel, I am going to create a transparent nail and now let's start with the sculpting. So I picked up some product on my uh, brush and now I'm going to build the free edge. So when we normally do the gel extensions, I have seen that people always start with the free edge uh, part first and then they build towards this uh, cuticle area. So that's exactly what I'm going to follow. So I just made contact with the free edge and then I'm trying to build the length and shape of the nail that I wanted to sculpt. Once you're happy with the uh, free edge sculpting, then you can uh, cure it under the UV lamp for like 30 seconds so that the product does not leave anymore. And then you can come back and start building the uh, cuticle area apex and the rest of the nails. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. 
so when you're working around the cuticle area and the side walls just ensure that the product is not touching your skin if it does just ensure that you're removing it before you're curing the product so now i'm trying to sculpt the uh, cuticle area and the uh, apex uh, so i'm just being very careful and i'm just navigating the product and trying to build that uh, you know center of the nails so then i'm going to drag it towards the free edge and i'm going to connect both the parts and then sculpt the entire nails so after completing the sculpting cure it and then remove the form so this is the raw form of the nails that i have sculpted now it's time to file and shape so i'm using an 180 grit file to file and shape the nails after filing just clean it and see if everything is okay so here you go the final look after filing it i really like the way it turned out so what do you guys think So now it's time for us to apply a top coat. I'm using Model One's top coat here. Uh, so since I was uh, at this part of the video, I realized that I forgot one step. Before the product application, we need to apply a very thin layer of uh, either the sculpting gel or you can also use a base coat. And then you start with the sculpting. So since it's the first video, I was super nervous and I think I forgot that part. But uh, we have to do that as well. So just wait for more videos on gel sculpting. um so i just completed the application of the top coat and when you have a clear extension we need to apply the top coat on the back side as well so that we get that crystal clear look so which i'll show you in a minute and here is the final finish so i applied the top coat on both the sides so that i have like that crystal clear finish so what do you guys think same nails but i changed the shape a bit and then i created that french tip and i really love the way it looked and i hope you guys like this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment subscribe all those good things and i'll see you soon on my next video any question please drop it in the comment section and i'll help you uh, address those and thank you so much take care